Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer 6.4.3.4 Configuring Basic EIGRP with IP version 6. This Packet Tracer assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Scaling Networks version 6 curriculum. Now hopefully by this point you have already configured EIGRP with IP version 4. You've seen how um, in, in this class, how we use dynamic routing protocols to overcome everything we used to do with static routing, where we had to enter in our destination on each router. We had to enter in our destination network and how to get there. The only problem is if that route goes down, what happens? Well, you can, yes, you can configure floating backup routes and things, but it just gets really cumbersome uh, for a router to handle. So in turn, with IP version or with EIGRP IP version 4, we were able to go in and on each router, let's say router 1 here, we put in every directly connected network. So we advertise its LAN network over here with the switch and PC. We advertise the uh, network between R1 and R3, and we had to advertise the network between R1 and R2. Pretty much every subnet. So remember, every uh interface that you have for a router anytime you plug in an interface there it creates a whole different subnet right uh, with IP version 4 that's why we'd use the variable link subnet mask to try to conserve addressing and everything but with IP version 6 it's a little bit different and especially with configuring the IGRP we don't really worry about conserving the addressing space remember with IP version 4 we only have around a little over 4 billion 4.3 I think is the exact number 4.3 billion uh, IP addresses. The Aaron, the American registry for internet uh, IP addresses has actually already depleted all of its IP version 4 addresses. So with IP version 6, we have around 340 undecillion. So basically, you take the number 340 and put 16 zeros at the end of it. That's how many addresses we have possible. And remember, with IP version 6, our addresses are separated by colons. They're 128 bits long instead of 32 bits long, and each set, each number or digit character can be numbers 0 through 9 or letters A through F. Okay, so it's a little bit different in how we configure. So with configuring EIGRP and IP version 6, we're going to start out in this lab assignment, which was lab assignment, which is very similar topology to our IP version 41. It's actually the exact same. We're just using IP version 6 addressing. So the first thing we want to do on each router, and I'm going to attack one router at a time instead of like switching back and forth. Um, I know they kind of have you go like in a round robin and do the same thing and come back. I'm going to finish one router first, okay? So the first thing they have you do is enable IP version 6 routing all together, okay, so that we can actually use it. So the command for that, we go and enable config T. We're going to do um, IPv6 unicast dash routing. Hit enter. Okay, that's going to give you a couple points toward completion of the lab. We have to do that so that it can understand and accept IP version six addresses. Okay, next we're going to enable IP version six EIGRP. So remember our old command was router EIGRP. This one we actually do IPv6 router EIGRP one. Remember you still use that autonomous system number and it tells us here to use one as our autonomous system number. So we'll do IP version six router EIGRP one that turns on uh, EIGRP for it. Now, we also can set a router ID here, which is still technically an IP version 4 terms. So the way we do that, if you kind of look at your list of commands there, we have some EIGRP specific commands. So we do EIGRP router dash ID 1.1.1.1. Okay, that kind of just sets again the ID. You want to make sure to do that before um, anything else. Okay, now we're going to exit out. Now, at that point under the EIGRP where it says config-RTR, says kind of the same thing, um, or config-router, um, kind of like we did with IP version 4, we will put in all our directly connected networks. That's not how it works with IP version 6. With IP version 6, what we do is 
instead of advertising all directly connected networks, we actually go to all directly connected interfaces and you actually type the command in there. So for instance, we've got something, if you look in your addressing table, or you could hover over each green dot, we've got G00, S00, and S001. So what we're gonna do is interface G00, and we're gonna go in and um, type in the command for EIGRP. So we'll do IPv6, EIGRP1, okay? That's the command we're gonna type in. Basically, you're telling that interface that you need to advertise yourself in the IP version 6 update. So it'll grab the information it needs from that network and send it out, okay? Next, we'll go to interface S000, IPv6, EIGRP1. We'll exit out of that one, go into interface S001, IPv6, EIGRP1, okay? What that does is, is it allows our router again to, or that specific interface to say, hey, I need to be a part of the EIGRP um, updates for IP version 6, so I need you to include me and the information I'm gathering off my network. So this is a little bit different than the way we did it for IP version 4, where we gathered all the network information first and then put it in one spot. So here you're going to each interface. Now, one could make an argument this is easier or harder than the other <clears throat> with IP version 4. That is up to you and what you think. Um, I actually think it's a little bit easier because you really don't have to gather the information off of each network. You just are entering it in here. But again, that is up for personal debate. Okay. <clears throat> so we have done all of that. So let's go over to R2 and do the same things. So we're going to do enable config T. Uh, we're going to turn on IP version 6 with unicast, oh, sorry, IPv6 unicast dash routing. I just used a tab key to finish that out for me. Now we're going to turn on EIGRP IPv6 EIGRP 1. Oh, sorry, router EIGRP 1. And now we're going to set our EIGRP router ID 2.2.2.2 for router 2. Okay, then we're going to exit out and we are going to go into each interface. So for R2, we've got the same three G00, S000, and S001. It's not the same three interfaces, but same interface names uh, <clears throat> G00. And we're going to start doing our commands, IPv6, EIGRP1, interface, S000, IPv6, EIGRP1, interface, S001, IPv6, EIGRP1. Okay, so we're going into each interface and configuring that as well. Now let's move over to R3. Enable config T. IPv6 unicast dash routing. Now we're going to turn on IP version 6 altogether. Or sorry, for uh, EIGRP for IP version 6. Router EIGRP 1. EIGRP router dash ID 3.3.3.3. I'm going to exit out there. Now we're going to go into each interface. Interface G00, IPv6, EIGRP1, interface S000, IPv6, EIGRP1, and interface S001. Oops, sorry. Should be a slash there. IPv6, EIGRP1. All right, and it looks like we got 84 out of 100. So what may, and it says to, to uh, make sure the process is not shut down. So we may need to go to the IPv6. So 
I'm going to go back to router one here. I'm going to do uh, IPv6 EIGRP router EIGRP one, and I'm going to do no shutdown to turn it on. Basically, that's turning on the ability to do that. Okay, so it looks like we need to do that for each one. IPv6 router EIGRP one and no shutdown. Now our interfaces are already up and you'll start to see stuff uh, form here, adjacencies form. Um, IPv6 router EIGRP one, no shutdown. And you'll start to see those little adjacencies form once again. Okay, and the networks are sharing information. Now to be able to do that to show your IPv6 route, okay, you can see everything that it's learning about. Now remember our legend up here in IP version four is just show IP route. For IP version six is show IPv6 route. So up here we've got a D next to every uh, route that we learned via EIGRP, and that's right here in our legend. Let me make this a little wider. There we go. Um, and every one that's directly connected, you'll see a C. Okay, so we could do that for every device here. All right, every router, and you'll see how it's learning about each network. So. Remember, you can do type do, and you don't have to go back out, okay? And you're still seeing it there. Now, also, everything should be able to ping each other. Um, and also, we see we've got 100 out of 100 for this lab. So hopefully that helps as you can see the differences between configuring this for IP version 4 and IP version 6. Subtle differences, um, but, you know, as IP version 6 is ever growing as a need and, and implementing in real networks, we do need to know how to work with it as well.